What's going on, Cornerstone? Got another daily encouragement for you. I don't know if you're like me, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. One thing that always tries to get away from me is my thoughts. It's amazing, sometimes I'll have, and the Bible says this too, right? Some thoughts are from God, some thoughts are from the devil, some thoughts are just from us. And I know that we can't act on every thought, but I also know this, it will protect the things that we meditate on, we will see the peace of God in our lives. I wanna read a couple of scriptures from you over here in Isaiah uh, chapter 26, verse three. It says, you will keep in perfect peace. What kind of peace? Perfect peace. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. Now here's the key, whose thoughts are fixed on you. So I like this part because God is given us roles of what everyone is supposed to do here. His role is to keep us in perfect peace. Our role is to set our thoughts and our affections on him. I want to look at another scripture over here in Colossians chapter 3. We'll just start in verse 1 because it is good. It says this, since you have been raised to new life with Christ. We could just stop right there and give God praise. I'm so happy that he has raised me to a new life. And being raised to that new life, I left a bunch of things behind. Sickness and disease got left behind. Poverty and lack got left behind. Spiritual death got left behind. And now I've got some things in my life that can only come from God. I've got prosperity. I've got health. I've got wholeness. But with that comes a sound mind. God has given us a sound mind, but your mind has to be protected. How do we protect our mind? Well, we're very specific on what we th think about. The Bible says this, take every thought captive and make it subject to the law of Christ. Well, what's the law of Christ? By Jesus stripes, you are healed. That is the law of Christ. So when you start thinking about oh, I'm sick, or, or I'm getting attacked by COVID, or I'm getting attacked by this, and you start meditating on those things. What you're supposed to do, the Bible says, take that thought captive and make it subject to the law of Christ. How do we take our thoughts captive? You replace that by meditating on something else or saying something else. So you need to get good, and I need to get good at confessing God's word every single day because our confession really controls our thoughts. Pastor Mark says it this way. I've heard other ministers say it this way. You can't meditate on something whilst you say something else. One of them has to give way. So if your mind is trying to meditate on sickness and disease, you start speaking health and wholeness and your mind will follow suit with your confession. This is one reason why confession is so important. So if you start thinking about sickness and disease, you need to start quoting scripture. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. You start quoting, you know, it is his will to heal all. You thank you, Lord, that healing is the children's bread. You just start speaking this word and what you begin to do is you wash your thoughts and you take your thoughts captive with the the word of God. So let's keep reading this. Woo, this is so awesome. Set your sights on the realities of heaven. Pastor's been talking a lot about this on Sunday morning. Is there any sickness in heaven? No. Is there any poverty in heaven? Is there any confusion in heaven? So we need to set our thoughts on the realities of heaven. What is in heaven? People are provided for. There's peace. There's soundness of mind. And we focus on that and we begin to speak that and we see that reality in our lives. Amen. At the right hand, a heavenly place of honor and power. Verse two is what I want to get to. Let heaven fill your thoughts. Do not think only about things down here on earth. So we need to make sure that we are meditating on the things that God wants us to meditate. We know this, that there's no room and no place in our life for fear. But if we meditate on the wrong things, fear will seep its way into our daily living. So we have to be sure we do what the Word of God says. Set our affections on things above. I like to do this all day long. No, I'm not yelling it as I'm walking through the halls at church, but all day long, I just meditate on the promises of God. All day long, I'm speaking the promises of God to myself as I'm walking from place to place, even when I'm sitting at my desk. I just confess the promises of God. I just say stuff like, I thank you that my God meets all of my needs according to his riches and glory. I say stuff like, I thank you, Jesus, that you healed me when you died 2,000 years ago. Just constantly repeating and saying the word of God to myself because I know if I confess the word, then I'm controlling my thoughts. And this is where the battlefield happens. If you can meditate and set your affections on things above, you will see the promises that Jesus died to give you. And so just receive that into your life. Stay encouraged, stay excited. We love you guys so much. We're praying for you. We believe that you're gonna have a wonderful rest of the day and we'll see you next time on Daily Encouragement.